All right, so now we're going to talk about the Rode Link Dual Wireless Kit. It comes in this case. You'll see that it's labeled that. A couple different things. In order to uh, do this practical, you're going to need the kit. You're going to need a pair of headphones. I recommend the Sony professional headphones that we use. And you need a camera with XLR inputs, which uh, all of our professional cameras have that. Oh, and a battery and a card. Once you open up the kit, you will see that there are transmitters and receivers. There's two of them. One of them I'm, I'm wearing right now. And uh, you can tell the receiver by the RX and the transmitter by TX. And if you actually lift this foam out, you can see a little diagram and it points and tells you where to put everything. Boom, boom, boom. It shows you the picture, where to put everything and what it's labeled, and it tells you how many of them there are. So it's pretty easy to tell where everything should go. And all the equipment should have that. So what's the difference? Well, the transmitter is the belt pack, uh, radio transmitter belt pack that you put on the talent and it has this little clip on here. Then the receiver right here, RX, has this little rotatable, uh, it's called a, uh, a shoe mount and that slides on top of your camera, which I'll demonstrate. And it's pretty simple what you can do with these things, and it's pretty powerful. What do these do? Well, what this does is the transmitter you hook the microphone to, and the receiver you hook to the camera. And what that does is it creates a, a wireless transmitter between the two. That way you can mic someone, and they can walk around in front of the camera, and they're not tied by a cable like you do in the uh, wired practical. If someone's sitting and doing an interview, it's pretty easy to do a wired. Uh, wired always is best, but sometimes there's many situations where wireless is needed. If you're walking and talking, you're going to need a wireless kit. Or if people are moving around on a set, or you're shooting a full shot. You have many, many instances where a wireless kit is pretty much absolutely necessary. So these are new uh, digital wireless kits, and they work on a higher bandwidth. Most of the earlier ones were analog, and what they required uh, was a different uh, radio frequency. And there's a lot to radio frequencies and a lot of different details in those old analog uh, kits. But it's different now with digital. These are super simple, these road links. They basically have an on button uh, right here, as you can see on top, that lights up the screen. And then they have a uh, mute and they have a uh, channel button. So they have a couple channels you can scroll through. So let's take a look at uh, what you can do with these. Also, you want to be aware that the battery should always be taken out of them and stored down here. And these have a couple different uh, little, little quirks about using the batteries. Then you have your lav bag. I'm wearing the lav right now. So there should be two lav bags in here, little drawstring bags. You have two of these little mini cables. And you'll have two of these XLR adapters. The mini cables go into the fixture, uh, the unit, and you're able to take that and link it into the, uh, the XLR and put into the camera. So let's take a little bit of a closer look uh, and let's talk about the camera itself. OK, so first you want to start with taking the RX, the receiver. We're going to put some batteries in it. This little button right here, you press this and you slide it open. The first click, it allows you to see the uh, DB pad if you want to boost the signal or, or reduce it. And then the red button, actually, if you do it with both and you hold them down, you can sync the two units. It only needs to be done once, so there's no really worry uh, about that later. Then you slide it again out. And the, the lid stays attached to it, so be aware of that. You want to be aware of these springs. This is a little odd uh, quirk of this unit. The springs, if you pry the batteries out wrong, you can actually tear these off and it damages the unit. Take your batteries, plus to plus, minus to minus. Take that, you're going to slide it closed, and it locks. Then you take this unit, the RX unit, the transmitter. You're going to take your cable, and if you look on one side of the cable, it has a little thread. You take that thread, slide it in here. Make sure it locks. Then you take this, 
Let me put this other stuff away. And you're going to put it on your camera. Here's your camera. And if you look here on top of the camera, it has what's called a hot shoe. And you take that and you put this onto there. It has a little arrow that shows you how to mount it. Then you tighten that part down. You lock it down with a little wheel that's on top of there. Now and you t check it, make sure it's not sliding off. Then you go back and you get your XLR adapter to your mini. You plug that in and you plug that into one of the channels. Right now I'm plugging into the channel one. Then, voila, we have our receiver plugged into our input one. We go down here and make sure that the level is set to uh, mic level. Then we're going to take that. We're going to grab our headphones. We're going to open those up. Plug them in to the headphone input on this particular camera. It's right here. And then we're going to power the camera up. Look at our viewfinder. And then we are going to power the receiver on. You see it blink like that. Then it should show a channel. Now it's searching for a channel if you look. So what we need to do is we need to take our transmitter and then we need to do, again, press that button, open it up. Notice how it has the same uh, signal boost and then we have the sync. We're going to get our batteries. Now always get fresh batteries when you're shooting and have spares just in case. Always, always, always have extra double A's. You want to have extras. And you close this. Then we go to one of these pouches. I'm currently wearing the other microphone. We open these up and inside of here we have two things. We have a little softy that goes over your microphone. That's to cut down on wind noise. And then we have the lavalier. Should be nicely wrapped up in there. It shouldn't be tangled. You want to take it. The most delicate part of this is where the connectors on the wire, it's very thin, where the wires connect with the microphone right here and where the wires connect to the plug right here. It's very delicate. So you want to take that, we want to thread it into the top hole right here, then tighten it down. Make sure it doesn't get all tangled. And it'll be kind of it'll kind of feel kind of weird trying to tighten it. You gotta make sure it it tightens it down. At that thread. Because you don't want the uh, and then you want to smooth out the cable and make it nice and straight. You don't want that thread not being tightened because it could actually pull out. That's really important. Then you're gonna press this button, power it on, and you'll see the channel number. So if we look here, the channel number should correspond to the channel number there, and you'll see the signal start to pop up on there. And now the microphone is catching signal from my voice, one, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You want, uh, again, like you'll see the microphone pinned onto my tie right about there. So if it's an informational video, like a documentary, or an instructional video like you're watching right now, it's okay to see the microphone. If you're doing a dramatic video, you're going to need to use what's called a, a, a special device in order to actually hide that inside of the clothing and make it invisible. And we'll talk about that in a different practical. But this allows you to actually take uh, the uh, wireless unit and you're going to need to put that on your subject. So I'm going to bring my volunteer in, Glenn. Oh, also make sure your softy goes back in your bag. That's for like wind noise for outside. And always, la when, you're, when you're kind of working out of your kit, latch it, at least one latch or two. That way you don't have any damage. So I'm going to bring Glenn in over here on the camera. Hey, Glenn. Oh, our little softy. There's a little softy that comes on there. You can look. It just popped off, so you got to be careful about that. 
Sometimes they pop off and you got to thread them back on. So just be aware if it's soft and it pops off, make sure you put it back on. And then there should be a clip on here too. This clip, as someone didn't notice, the clip popped off. So we need to pop that, we need to actually stick that back on. If not, just come see me and I can show you to put it back on. All right. So a couple different things. You're going to have Glenn. Glenn, can you pin this on your back of your belt? It needs to go right here in the back of your belt, as you see with mine. Or back of your pants. Yeah. Got it? Is it secure? Mm -hmm. Okay, now run this up through your shirt. You don't want to leave the wire hanging out in front that's really trashy looking. It doesn't look good. Ask the person, uh, your subject, to put it up to their shirt. And then they're going to need some help getting out, the top, out of the top. So like this is a, as Glenn faces the camera. So like this is an example of a really difficult one because we have this in the way. You, if they have any jewelry, you want them to take it off. Um, and then you take this and you can kind of loop it through there. So it's like this, so it has a strain relief on it. Now this is an omnidirectional microphone, but I'll be able to actually pin this onto him. And then I can tilt it up or down in order to hear. So then I'll come over here. Uh, I'm gonna have, let me scoot over here a little bit. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna put my headphones on. Play, make sure it's plugged in. Then, if I hear a really hollow sound, it's probably, and I just kind of lightly touch the uh, onboard microphone, that definitely means that I'm hearing this. I'm not hearing his microphone. So another thing I need to do is I need to make, check the settings. Audio is all about troubleshooting. So I'm going to look here at my levels, and I'm going to look. I'm going to make sure that it's on manual, and it's on external. And we'll get a close-up of that. Then I'm going to flip this open. I'm going to turn up my levels. And that level. And then another key thing is sometimes you won't hear anything. And the biggest part of that is that the volume button, which is kind of obscured by this uh, transmitter unit, it needs to be turned up on here on the actual camera. Sometimes the volume is just not on. And you think you see a signal in the uh, little signal window and you're like it's fine it's not it's not there because it's not on so another part of this is to check and make sure these levels and you're going to like turn you'll you'll find out which channel like i know on this one looking at the at the monitor it that that is this channel so I, now i've turned it off and i can hear his microphone so go ahead and count to 10 glenn So what I like to do is turn it all the way up. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there you go. So part of this is now I'm getting signal. I'm getting it from Glenn. I'm hearing some background hiss. Could be a lot of things. Could be that I've set the trim levels too high. There's a lot more. There's a couple of instructional videos that are also highlighted uh, in this unit. You'll have to watch those. There's, a, there's quite a few things with audio that's happening. You have trim levels, you have your audio uh, assignment dials, you have your actual levels here, and then you also have your inputs selectors. Line level, mic level, input selectors. So there's a lot of things, even just making sure the connectors, making sure you have good battery life, making sure you're getting signal. There's a lot of oddball troubleshooting things that you got to look for, and that's a big key part of, our, of audio. The nice thing about this is right now I have a camera and Glenn can walk around right now and I can record video of him and he's not tied to me. There's no safety hazard with tripping with a cable or anything. So that's a really nice thing. You just have the flexibility of being able to move around, shooting uh, a lot of full shots, long shots, and still getting good audio. And that's a big part of, of a wireless kit. So let's talk about uh, turning it off. Big part, so you're gonna ask your talent to uh, turn, uh, 
go ahead and uh, actually pull the. What what I like to do is I know, I don't like my talent to give them a lot of things to do because it's you might have someone who knows nothing about production. Glenn definitely does. But what I'm going to ask them is to take their lavalier off. Just go ahead and. And sometimes you'll need to unclip it because they might not see it or understand. And then run it back down to the shirt and go ahead and. You want to make sure it doesn't get caught on anything um, because it can actually separate the and damage the lavalier. And then go ahead and uh, unclip the belt pack. First thing you want to do is get your uh, subject. You want to get them out of this. Thank you. You want to get them out of the belt pack and just let them leave. Because sometimes, often or not, you'll say, oh, that's good. You know, your producer might be talking to someone and clients will just leave or the interviewer will just walk off. They'll walk off with your like $300 or more um, piece of equipment and they'll just get in their car and leave. So you want to make sure that you take this off. Then you're going to hold the power button down, power it down, hold the receiver, power button down. It'll kind of rotate like it's thinking. It'll turn off. Now, we can go here. I like to put the lava away first. Gets it out of the way. The thing that can be damaged the most. We take this. You can, I use two fingers and I kind of wrap it around carefully. The, the, the type of cable that this is, it's, not, it's delicate, but also just very fussy about getting tangled, unfortunately. More expensive lavaliers are a little bit easier, but I've always found all, almost all lavaliers, they're just difficult. Um, so you're going to take these, you're going to put it back in this little bag. That's the most delicate part is the microphone, the lavalier microphone. Get it out of the way. Make sure you count for the softy in there. Make sure the little other black softy didn't fall off. Get it back in its kit there. Draw that string up. Put it away. Get it off there. Take your transmitter. And one key thing about this is you have to actually pry these out of here. So if you have a coin, that might help you. And what I like to do is just kind of use a coin because you don't want to damage the spring. That little spring, if you, pr if you pry it out the wrong way, it'll, it'll just break off, and then the, can then the unit's ruined. Coin's really easy to just kind of get it out of there and pull it out. Take your batteries, put them at the base. Take your unit. Uh, this is a transmitter. Put it there. Then you're going to go over here. You're going to remove the cable. Pull out your XLR cable adapter. Put that back in the kit. Rotate this part of the unit. Pull this off. Switch camera side. Power that down. Take this. That little thread lock, you want to loosen that. Then you have that, put that back in there. Again, press this button and separate it. And then take the coin. Take your batteries out. Close your unit. Put your batteries back in there. I like to put this one like this. That way I know it's automatically knows the receiver. Boom. Then if I had, uh, I'm currently wearing it, but I'd have the other two in here. Count everything. Look at your inventory. Count everything up. Once you've accounted for everything, close it up. So the practical, the big part of the practical is you want to set it up. You want to get it working, check your levels, make sure your, all your audio is recorded, recording, record a clip of someone even just reading a, a short little script, take that, import it into Premiere, edit it on a timeline, put a title slate, export it, and then upload it to the practical. And if you can pass that, then you uh, can pass the practical. So that's a pretty key thing, uh, just to make sure you can use radio mics. Make sure uh, Mr. Furtado set, checks your setup, uh, and then make sure you make sure you put it away correctly, and that's part of it too. And that's the Rode Dual Link uh, Wireless Kit. There's also the Rode. Uh, it's actually called the Rode uh, Filmmaker Kit because it has two uh, two lavaliers. 
Uh, there's another one is the Rode ENG kit, and that we'll talk about in a different practical. And that has a pretty cool feature in that it has a receiver and a transmitter unit is used for handheld microphones or the boom pole. So we'll talk more about that in a different practical.